What is up, guys? My name is Chono, and welcome to episode 6 of 3D Game Programming in Java. Um, unfortunately, I had to re-record this episode because halfway through, well, actually 80% through rendering it, um, my screen recorder crashed, and, yeah, unfortunately, that footage is gone. So, yeah, this is a re-record, so um, if you go... I've tried to reset the code as good as I could, so um, if there's something that wasn't there last time, let me know. But it should be should be good. Um, I think this is this is probably where we left off. Um, okay, yeah. So um, I've actually had a very busy day, and I am quite busy today. So this will be like a short episode. It'll still be pretty good, but it'll be like a short episode where I just want to talk about a few things and demonstrate a few of the of the possibilities with this. Um, and also, is it a, like because the last the last few episodes have been pretty long. Um, I think episode four is something with like just over twenty minutes. Like, is that okay with you guys, or would you guys like, would 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 you guys prefer for me to have like shorter, like five to ten minute episodes where I sort of add less code, I guess, and talk a bit more in depth at, um on how it works and stuff like that, or do you guys want like long twenty minute episodes where we accomplish a lot? Um, drop a comment, let me know. Um, also, if you have any questions regarding like your thing not working or problems, um. Please don't post a comment because the YouTube comments are really hard to reply to and stuff like that. It doesn't really show you the thread. So if you if you do want to um, ask me a question, like a, a long question with pasting code into the comments, um, tweet at me. My Twitter uh, link will be in the description of the video. Okay, follow me on Twitter and tw and tweet at me. That's the best way, honestly. Um, okay, let's get started because um, I've talked for about two minutes without actually doing anything. Um, <laughs> First thing I sort of wanted to talk about is, um, oh, actually, uh, we sort of, last time I said that this was a temporary fix, because the the thing that happened, what will happen, unfortunately, is if we, um, and this is, by the way, limiting this, what will happen is, if we, um, we don't need this, cleaning up the code, um, if we change, if we sort of change this to, like, no, 720p, 1280 by 720. Um, then, you know, it's we'll have to we'll have to sort of come in here as well, and change this. Let me just live change this for you guys so you can see the difference. Um, you know, you'll have to change this to 720. Um, and you know, 1280, and you'll see it now. Yeah. Um, and that'll get really annoying because you have to change it to two places, and uh, eventually, you know, you, you'll, you'll you'll get lost, especially if you have a lot more code around this. So, um, it's pretty easy to fix. Let me just roll, lower this down. Um, I guess okay. First thing, we basically what we want is we want to set this value to the value of this, to the value of this, sorry, and this value to the value of this variable. And the way we do that is we need to create an object out of this display class and read this variable. It's public, so it can be read. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and make a private um, display. We'll call it display. And this is creating an object of our class. We'll have to import it. It's creating an object of this display class. Um, and we'll go ahead and go display dot height. And over here, display dot width and if we change that to 1280 by 720 then it should yeah it should work perfectly so yeah that's a that's a small little like I guess fix that we've just done um and yeah the other thing I wanted to talk about is sort of performance and stuff like that because First of all, okay, let, let, let me just drop this resolution down to 800 by 600. Okay. So, at the moment, um, and by the way, if you click twice on this, um, then it'll actually maximize and minimize it. So, yeah, double click and it will maximize itself for you. Um, yeah, so if we increase this to like, I don't know, 500 or something, you can see it sort of begins to lag, um, and it's this is sort of I guess a a um, a lesson on smart coding here. What we can do is instead of actually having to do this entire thing twice, 
we could just sort of do this thing twice. And it's hard to explain, so let's... Okay. Um, 500 is 2.5 times 200, isn't it? Um, so if we just simply add that to i, instead of adding having to do this again, um, you can see that... Look at that. We get the same result. It looks exactly the same, except it's not lagging. And of course, that'll work for higher sort of things too. If I if I delete this again, um, and we go to like 1,000 or something, you know, 1,000 is 10 times is five times 10 times 100, but five times 200. So if we times this by five, look at that exact same thing, except it's not lagging. So with lag and stuff like that, and with 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 uh, because a lot of uh, a lot of people seem to have issues with performance and stuff like that. It's it's sort of it's sort of smart coding in a way. Um, so yeah, I can't. It's not it's not something that you can really teach, but it's something that you sort of pick up. Pick, you you sort of you get used to it, and you start to be able to see things that um, in in some cases you know you'll be like, oh, hang on a second. It's gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna be a lot better if I do it this way. Why don't I try try and do it this way? Um, and you'll see the difference. Now we can't actually see the difference right now because we have we don't have an FPS counter, and we'll probably add that in tomorrow. I don't have time right now. It's going to be quite a long tutorial because there's about 50 lines of code to add and about 20 minutes of explaining to do. Um, maybe about 10 to 15 minutes of explaining to do. So. Um, yeah, that'll be hopefully episode 7 tomorrow, or episode 8 if we don't have time to do it tomorrow. Um, yeah, and I also wanted to add one more thing, and that is alpha support. Um, or bit masking, as it's probably called, called in Java. And basically what, what we want to do is we want to say, okay, if, if we don't want to render anything, don't render it. Like, if there's nothing to render, don't bother rendering. And the way we do that is, let's just make a variable called alpha, and we're going to set that variable to this because that'll sort of be well this I, I you don't really need to call this alpha but I've just called it it's it's not technically what's giving it the alpha support it's it's just I've just named it that because I can't think of anything else at the moment um, but basically we're we're putting the rendering into alpha we should probably call this render or something but I don't know we've got other stuff that's so called render and I, I don't want to confuse it with that um, and we can go if if alpha is greater than zero so in other words if we want to render something then render <laughs> let me just put that yeah so render um now that will probably have perform yeah that'll have issues on our performance but basically you can see it's sort of um you can see the difference if I shave it um yeah so to do with performance, we might just drop this to 100 and try that. Okay, that's a bit better. Maybe even yeah, we can just put this down. Whoa, dollar sign. I just resume that. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, so that's that's alpha support. Um, so basically, it's I guess it's self-explanatory. Um, you know, if if alpha is greater than zero, then render it. Um, if we switch this, then you know it's gonna sort of do the opposite. But what I mean is, uh, I guess he actually you could probably sort of see this. You can see that it's sort of rendering the opposite if we switch signs. It's kind of hard to see, but if you if you do it on your computer, then you can sort of see how it sort of it flips. I don't know, it's really hard to, to say. Um, um, yeah, never mind. Um, try it on your computer. You, you should be following along anyway. Um, also, the source code for, for all of these things will be in the description of the video. There'll be a link um, where you can actually read the source code because a lot of people aren't copying correctly or something's gone, gone wrong. They don't know what's, what's going wrong. So... Don't worry, that'll be in the description, and yeah, so you'll be able to you'll be able to have your source code. Um, so yeah, that's that's probably about it. Um, it's been a bit of a quick tutorial, I know, but we did a few important things. We talked about performance. Um, we fixed a nice we we fixed a bug, I guess. It's not really a bug, but it's we we moved on from a temporary fix to a permanent fix, and we also um, added 
added a bit masking support, which is very important for the future if we want to have transparency and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later, and uh, yeah, bye.